Hey guys, uh, gotta make a video um, of what happened last night and right now. So, it's a pretty cool experience. It ain't oh, the best I've ever had, but it's pretty cool. So, I haven't done any ET stuff for like a year. Like, no huge contacts, no CE5s. I lost it all on my last YouTube channel, so I'm kind of bummed out and I gotta get pumped up to make it all again, right? To make them all again. Repost any CE5 video I have. I gotta go find it on my external drive and then take it off and repost it. Or remake it. And yeah, it's a lot of work. And I haven't gone outside to do any CE5s as much as I want to. Because all I ever get is the little dots. And ten hits on the computer. So what's the point? I mean, I'm not. Gonna, I'm, I'm still gonna do it, but fuck it. Right now, I got too much going on in my life, in my head, <laughs> to uh, worry about it. When I get when I get it all together, I'll start doing it again. So last night I go to bed. I hook up to JC. And fall asleep. He, what he does when I'm sleeping, he gives me dreams. And, well, Christ consciousness. You dream in Christ consciousness and everything's a lesson. Okay, so. Um, I, uh. What he does is he pulls the, the link. The spiritual connection to my loved ones. He pulls it away. So I can disconnect. He helps me out doing that every night. But anyway, last night I had a dream where, with the ETs, and um, it was around I don't know what time it was, but it was a it was a normal Christ consciousness dream, and the ET, from what I can remember, the ETs, the spaceship would come real close and pass by me, and then I would run the other way. Uh, like I was dodging it, or I can't really remember how it all went. But I remember the the UFO when it actually came at me. It had a, a flare burning on the side of it, like a flare. And then one time I had a flare, you know, a proper flare with smoke on it, and it was signaling like the flare was a signal, like a like a here we are, here we are. And then it would fly away, and then it would come back, and it had a light that was blinking. And it flew away. Then I, that happened over and over again. And sometimes I was scared, sometimes I wasn't. But then I woke up right after that, and I realized I could hear, I could hear the sound of the ETs in my head, the crickets, the, the field of crickets, and it was getting louder and louder and louder. And I'm like, oh no, right? So I'm freaking out, and then I, I call up, I scream for Christ, and my inner self is talking to Christ already. And because Christ is always helping me out, disconnect. And uh, he comes in and start my inner self, start my innocence, starts telling Christ what to do when they show up because they might come, right? And this new Christ, he's a new one, and he ain't got it all updated, I guess. So he's getting all the stories. So my innocence is telling him all the heavy, heavy duty stories and. My innocence told him, well, the last a couple of Christs ago that were helping me out, he had an experience where, I'll get into that in a, I'm not going to do it now, where I was sleeping and the sound of the crickets woke me up and I have earplugs in. This happened about a year or two ago. I'm sleeping and all of a sudden I wake up and I can hear the sound of crickets, so I get scared. Well, I don't. I don't get scared. I hook up to the ETs. I, I, I shine my inner light out towards the ETs and open my heart, right? Because that usually diffuses any fears or stress or anything. As soon as you open your heart. <coughs> anyway, and the ETs usually never can. They haven't come for long, like years. And all of a sudden, they come real close, real close, real close. And I'm looking. I'm looking. And then, all of a sudden. This, it's like a, a porthole starts spinning in front of me 
and it opens up and it's I don't know it seems like it's quite a distance away I can't I can't reach it or touch it but it opens up like a like this like like a top turning or a screw turning and it opens up and it opens up into another dimension and then the dimension gets closer and closer and closer and bigger till it's like a, a eight feet away from me and it's huge hole in blackness and there's four ETs standing there looking at me talking from inner light to their inner light from my inner light to their inner light and we're, and we're all talking meanwhile my innocence I'm bringing in Christ so Christ and my head is ringing okay like like a chainsaw because when the ETs get close the, the sound of the field of crickets it sounds like crickets I don't know like at night and frogs and crickets in the forest when that happens it's ringing like it hurt I got tears are running out of my eyes it hurts so bad so I got Christ and told him to get in here and give me the juice because the juice uh, is like uh, energy that Christ Jesus Christ the one of them that I was working with he pumps it into me and it fills my head up sort of like a buffer and it takes the pain away and it takes the noise away and it calms me down and it's you gotta have it man it's the best stuff anyway finally the noise goes away because he juiced me and I can hear my innocence talking to Christ and Christ wants to see the aliens but I gotta bring Christ into my perspective so I bring Christ in to my perspective he comes through my head like literally I'm trans channeling Christ man the one I'm working with he comes right in his spirit is now in my body with me and he's looking out and he goes okay I'll tell him I'll talk to him and so he's looking at him and I go and I'm like Jesus I can't even believe this right but he can't he goes I can't see nothing I have to be in you looking through you and I'm going they're standing right there it's for him you don't see him he goes no they're they're hooked up to you the ETs are hooked up to you I can't see him I'm not looking through your perspective so I have to come into you look through your perspective then see him and I'm like wow you know I never that's how it works though right you could be hooked up to ETs no one else can see it except you spiritually right so this is all the spirit world okay this is not physical so I'm laying in my bed looking at four ETs I have to bring Christ in so he can hook up to the ETs and look through my perception through my spirit and see the ETs in the conversation now he came in he's talking to the ETs there's four of them he's talking to them and they slowly back off a little bit and then he and the noise starts going away then he backs off the porthole starts to close up a bit and it fades away and I don't even want to know what's going on right because it's just too uh, too much and I gotta turn the oven off so with that he has this conversation which brings me back to right today so the flares in tonight's dream the flare on the side of the craft and the blinking light were symbolic representations of how the ETs will get your attention and they, how they get my attention is the sound of the crickets the feel of the crickets so when they're coming in the middle of the night I'll hear the crickets and I'll automatically know because it's been like that for 50 years like ever since I was a kid whenever they come close they get real close to me in the physical ship spiritually I react with the sound of crickets the flares and the lights were symbolic representations of the effects of what they have on people anyway and that's what I was dreaming about so last night I wake up they're not they're not close like I can hear the crickets but they're not loud far from it but my innocence starts telling Christ about all the experiences with the other Christ that I just told you to get him ready for if they come okay and how to deal with them and everything and what my fears are my issues are with not so much the ETs other than they're ugly and they're very intense but I can I can negate that well not so much the ugly but I can negate the uh, the intense spiritual feeling just by opening my heart and opening up to them all the fear and pressure leaves but 
what the cause and effect afterwards, what happens afterwards. I get the monkey dude, I get the men in black dimensional jumper guy that comes in and warns me if, if uh, stuff like that. And a bunch of other ghostly crazy shit that happens. Now this was in the past before I became a Christ. To me, I still think it's a psyop, but they still say I'm a Christ. But I don't know. I gotta find out. Anyway, back to the ETs. The ETs, um, they didn't come close. I didn't want them to because I was dealing with a lot of them. I don't really, I don't really need it. And I said, I remember my innocence saying, "Juice him if it gets real loud from the, the sound of the crickets. He'll scream and cry, and bitch and yell." So you'll know, <laughs> and I and my innocence will tell. But then he went on. And I'm listening. He went on to tell him my experiences in the physical about how the men in black and the black helicopters came, and the black ops cops that followed me around, and kicked my dog, and everything, <coughs> bugged my house, all that fun stuff, which is in a couple last videos. If you watch it. Silver Street, Silver Street Blues that video I'll put it in this playlist it's all a playlist but anyway this is just a quick update before I get back into the older experiences I had which I gotta remember them all again then make videos for them so I wake up have the ET thing with Christ last night then I fall back asleep I wake up again this morning and I'm on a computer playing Fallout in the living room with my cousin's computer my computer you can't play Fallout because it's uh, Apple iMac and uh, they don't have it for that so I have to play it on my cousin's computer so I'm out there playing on my cousin's computer and I'm in this epic battle and all of a sudden I get this urge to go on my computer and check out Facebook see what's going on I just had this urge to do it and I'm like in the middle of this you know fighting super mutants and it was beautiful and I, I you know when you get a good fight going you don't want to stop so finally I finished the fight I round it all off, and I quit the game, and I go in, I go into my, my bedroom, get on my computer, and a buddy, when he, that's in the group, he wrote me a question about ETs, and I'm like, holy shit, and I ain't thought about ETs in months, like six months or more, like I think about them every day, almost, almost. But I haven't done anything, haven't talked about it, haven't made any videos on the ETs. I do all Christ experience videos because that's what's going on right now in my life. So, but anyway, he asked a question and I got a conversation. Turns out, I guess him and his sister in two different cities were meditating at the same time or looking in the sky at the same time about ETs. And uh, last night, and uh, if I'm wrong, I, don't, I can't remember exactly what he said. But, and then he asked me a question there. It's awesome. It's a, see how it all worked out? I was sleeping, dreaming about ETs. They were out meditating, looking for ETs last night. Just crazy stuff. But anyway, it was pretty neat. Oh, it worked out. And uh, so he asked me a question. That's why I had the urge to go. Because it's all it's all spiritual, man. But when you finally get the physical affirmations, it's like, great right on, you know. It's another cool experience to have the affirmation. Because I couldn't figure out why. Go, 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 go to Facebook. I'm like, are you kidding me? I've been dreaming of this for having this battle in the video game for a long time. And, uh... You finally get you get there and then you gotta go do this and your insides are telling you to go on the internet so and to make I was thinking the last couple of days up up start doing my ET videos again my experiences and posting them because I want to get them all because they're so cool man I want to get them all documented put on the YouTube before I'm dead. No one will ever know what happened to me. And I have so many fucking cool experiences you wouldn't even believe it. Unprecedented. And they match with other people's experiences. Which blows me away. And I know other people are having experiences the exact same I'm having. 
they just don't know how to interpret it where I did I learned I knew I don't know how or why or where it wasn't easy but anyway I want to get this done I want to get the ET experiences done because I know there's more coming oh and last night I found out this they started blocking me from hearing the conversation my innocence and Christ started blocking me over a conversation they were having so I couldn't hear in my head but what I did hear was there's more to come with the ETs and interaction with me physically because I never got done what I was supposed to learn with the ETs whatever that was I never got done it then this Christ thing happened to me screwed it all up they had to, they couldn't come around anymore because I was fucking losing my mind but now they can start coming around again I'm with Christ and I am a Christ I don't know what to do about that <laughs> but it, okay for me being a Christ it, okay it works out it's like I automatically heal myself I automatically get juice I automatically get a whole bunch of things and I have I got the Amy Christ. She's like, does crazy stuff I've never experienced before. This new Christ that I'm with, the guy, the guy and the Amy Christ, they, they just do things, man. They do. Even, like, I don't know. It's like you're, you're in the club now, right? So shit just happens, gets done. Just like that. So anyway, last night was about the uh, ETs. Amy was listening. Christ was listening. Then they blocked me. And my innocence was telling Christ about what's going to happen. What Rich, has, what Rich has to experience yet with the ETs. So it's coming. And he was telling Christ what to do when it happens. What to, what to get ready for. And all that. And how to deal with it. From my past experiences. So he could deal with it. So that's cool. Got my camera ready, boy. So, I mean, for me, the only thing I can think of is when I go out in the woods and that big craft comes and lands. Now I think I'm going to the woods this year. So I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. But the last time they came, they pulled me out of my body. They were carrying me up to the craft. And I looked in his face, shot back in my body. And uh, I had failed. Fear, you know. It was so damn ugly. And um, I shot back in my body. And I failed. I was still over my fear. Now I hope my heart, the fear is gone. I'm a Christ. With Christ. And the Amy Christ. I'm surrounded by Christ. All good things. So the ETs are going to come back. Confront me in my ego. I'm thinking. And let's see. I don't know what they're going to do. But it's going to be in physical. I'm pretty sure because there ain't no other reason why they would do come back to confront me because it's all about the physical boundaries you got to overcome, right? And that's for me anyway. Like I can do anything in spirit world, hang out, you know. Other in the spirit world, they're intense and they're hard to deal with. But you open your heart and you just talk to them. Like that's how I do my CE fives. The one where it's passing the moon, he's talking to me, and I'm telling you what we're working on and then it happens it's just sick man it happens all the time but that's the spirit world but for me to get on the ship physically or see them physically that's a whole new level boy that's a another crack in the head that I gotta break and I don't know I don't know we'll see what happens but I hope it does I hope it does but it ain't over yet so Let's see what happens. Anyway, after this video, I'm going to start posting all my experiences from the 80s, late 80s, right after the Silver Street Blues, because I guy went to, I went from there, I had experiences there, then I went to Vera, I lived there, then I went to 
Vancouver for three years. Had a whole crap load there. Came back and I've been having them ever since. And really powerful past life experiences in that time period that are just blow your mind. A lot of past lives experiences, spiritual experiences. I gotta do all those again. So I'm just gonna keep pumping them up. And that's what this channel is gonna be. I'm not gonna mess with it too much about politics because they just take it. As soon as you get politics mixed up in it, they just take it down. You can't make fun of Hillary, you know. And they call they call they call the freedom people Nazis. You can't even post goddamn video anymore and they take it down. You can even post the name Hillary or Obama. Gone. And then people say, oh, I ain't getting it. Anyway, I already said the big H word. <laughs> All right, enough of that. Stick with the UFOs. Okay. Okay, guys, later. Um, yeah, not too much has happened but with Christ. Christ experienced a little update. Um, they just been pulling, separating me. Pi been pumping energy out, and every night they give me a psycho dream. I'm actually telling Christ, okay, I've been through this like ten times. These dreams you're giving me over and over and over, and they ain't getting any better. They're just the same old, same old, you know, storybook. Do the right thing, Rich. And I always do. I always pass. I don't know, man. I don't know why he's giving them to me again. I said, can you upgrade it to like uh, something better? like a storybook when you're five years old they're giving you lessons in a storybook that's what the dreams are like my god I know all this dude Jesus Christ I've lived worse than this and I've passed stuff anyway I'm just on that. but I ain't going anywhere and they move me somewhere they're always moving me I don't know where it is this time but anyway that's about the updates. Not a lot, a lot, not a lot of exciting stuff going on. Anyway, talk to you later, guys.